Hello there and welcome to A2 Maths, we're on June 2018, paper 1, and here we're looking at question 2, a differentiation question. So a curve C has equation y equals x squared minus 2x minus 24 square root of x. Find part 1, the first differential, and part 2, the second differential, and we'll move on to the later stuff later on. So, part A, we now need to differentiate this thing here. What I'll do first is I'll write out this function um, so that we can differentiate it. And the bit that I need to sort out is this square root of x. I need to turn that into 24x to the power of a half. So now I can differentiate it. So to differentiate, this is a nice easy thing to differentiate. I'll bring the power to the front and then reduce the power by 1. So 2x to the power of 1 minus 2 and then it's going to be minus 12x to the minus half. For part 2, I need to differentiate again, so let's go once more, d2y dx squared, that's going to be 2x differentiated gives me 2, 2 differentiated gives me nothing, and then for the last one it's going to be plus 12x to the minus 3 over 2. So there we are, that's the answer to part 2. Part B now, verify that c has a stationary point when x equals 4. Well, in order to do that, I need to show that the dy by dx will equal 0 when x is equal to 4. So for part b, dy by dx, and then some notation you can use, evaluated at x equals 4, is equal to 2 times 4 minus 2 minus 12, lots of 4 to the power of minus 1 half. Let's show this fully. It's going to be 8 minus 2 4 to the power of minus half, that's um, a half, because you put 1 over 4, and then you square it the 4, so it's now a 2, so that's going to be 12 over 2, and then that's going to turn into 8 minus 2 minus 6, which is 0. Lovely. So as it's 0, as dy by dx equals 0, there is a stationary point. It's always good to write yourself a little conclusion because it might be that it picks up one mark. Okay, moving on to part C then. Determine the nature of this stationary point, giving a reason for your answer. Let's just squeeze it into this bottom left-hand part here. Well, if I need to determine the nature of the stationary point, I put it into the second derivative. So the second derivative evaluated at x equals 4 is going to be, well, it's going to be positive because it's going to be 2 plus 12 to the power of 4 to the minus 3 over 2. Uh, you don't need to work out what 4 to the minus 3 over 2 is. You know it's going to be positive, so it's going to be 2 plus 12 times something positive. So this is going to equal something that's positive. And if the second derivative is positive, then we have a minimum turning point, a minimum point. So there we are, that's the answer to um, to part C. That's uh, seven marks in total for question two. Let's now move on to question three.